Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back with another 10 metal bands you haven't heard but should. Kind of hot on the heels of the gurgling gore video. That was just a uh, nice surprise for everyone involved, especially me. So yeah, back to the regular schedule. First up, we have Zatir, which is a really cool, I guess, like blackened heavy metal band. Um, Dying Victims put this EP out, I want to say in 2019. It might have been 2020. Um, that kind of part. But yeah, it's on Dying Victims from Germany. And uh, I reviewed it at the time, and I've been meaning to get it since, but, you know, for one reason or another, I only just got round to it. So it's really kind of epic cover art. Um, it's an interesting sound as well. Uh, I interview I've reviewed and interviewed uh, the new Morgul Blade, which is sort of black and heavy metal. But while they're more, I guess, like Bathory and stuff, and like Vindir meets, I guess, like Manila Road, and the more kind of epic heavy metal, Zatir has a very much like new wave of British heavy metal kind of style. So thing more like Angel Witch and Satan. Uh, especially the latter with the very intricate songwriting. But then there are like harsher vocals. It's a really interesting mix. It fits together really well. It's four songs, so it's not super, super long. It's just a really nice little taster. And um, yeah, I hope they do more. This is Ornament of Proposition. It's a really cool little EP and definitely worth a spin. Next, we have definitely something more new wave of British heavy metal. Uh, influenced is Spitfire and uh, No Remorse Records from Greece. Um, now, if, I mean, the band's name is an old British plane and they do sound quite old and British. So if you think like classic uh, early era Maiden and Judas Priest with like a little bit of maybe some Dio or something in there. Um, it's just really good, fun, heavy metal. It's kind of, it's one of those records, it does exactly what you want it to do. It's not kind of reinventing the wheel, which is a phrase I'm trying to stop using following a conversation with a friend. Because... Um, I never really thought of it as a negative or a positive, but I guess it can come off the wrong way. But no, Spitfire, just great classic style heavy metal. Um, definitely more on the British side, but not exclusively. I, I would say there's still some other stuff going on. Um, just a really fun release. If you guys like um, White Wizard and Monument, which are bands I've talked about, I think, uh, I hope. Uh, I've been a fan of both of those for quite a few years. Um, yeah, Spitfire in that kind of league. Really cool stuff and a really good album. Next, we're doing a extreme release. I've, been, I've sort of ended up these videos, I think previously I've done like a kind of a heavy metal one and a death metal one, and I'm trying to like mix them up a bit to make them a bit more erratic, but it is kind of dictated which things come in which order. Um, especially stuff like um, a lot of this was sent to me by a promo company, Sure Shot Works from Germany. Um, so, you know, I don't want to keep people waiting too long, all the stuff that I want to talk about, and I don't want to, you know... Uh, neglect anything so this is a a death metal record by Golgoth and Remains I think it's their second full length um, on Sentient Ruin and um, Brilliant Emperor name went out of my head then um, really good kind of slower moving death metal in the vein more like Cruciamentum, Dead Congregation those kinds of bands which is definitely in my favorite kind of uh, pigeonhole of death metal if you will there's some kind of blackened bits, some kind of doomy bits. It's just kind of really lumbering, evil-sounding death metal. Wicked album cover too, um, which is always a nice touch in this kind of... Uh, I don't know, it's not quite a digipack. Uh, it's just not got the tray. It's just one of these thingies. Um, but yeah, really, really nice. Um, really good, just evil, cavernous, creepy death metal. Always like some of that. Next, I'm really glad to finally have this. This is one of my favourite albums by a long stretch this year is uh, Iron Shackles by Lucifer on High Roller Records. Um, I recently interviewed this band, so if you want to read that, feel free. It's three of the guys from Vulture, which is another band I really like. Uh, you know, Germ I'm, I'm thinking I might just move to Germany at this point. It seems to be, a, would be a wise career move for me. Um, but yeah, Lucifer, really cool. Uh, they have a lovely mix of traditional and, I guess, like almost occult heavy metal sounds. There's like, um, They've definitely got the epic kind of Manila Road and uh, Omen kind of stuff going on. There are a lot of kind of new wave of British heavy metal gallopy bits, but then they've got these big organs and like almost, I want to say like not orchestral vocals, like an orchestra, but uh, not orchestra choir for fuck's sake. Oh, Jesus. Um, great work from me mixing up orchestras and choirs. Uh, it shows my classical training. Um, no, like uh, almost choral vocals, the way they they come through um it's kind of hard to describe what i mean because i'm not uh, professionally trained in that kind of stuff and i'm definitely not a singer 
but there's just really epic, powerful vocals and these really cool organ breaks that just, you know, they could easily be from like an old Aussie record or something a bit more obscure and kind of 70s rock. But yeah, Lucifer just tie it all together really nicely. Um, I saw, I'm, I'm trying to find the right words for it because it's a really special and it sounds very old school. I believe it must have an analog production because it just does sound very natural. And it kind of does that thing where you turn it up louder and it feels more uh, intense to listen to. Not just in terms of volume, um, but from a production standpoint. Aesthetically, it looks really cool. Like the band photos, the logos, everything comes together really nicely. Yeah, killer songwriting. The guitar solos are ripping. The riffs are really memorable. Um, I don't really speak any German other than like a high school level of um, German. Um, but even the songs in German you find yourself singing along to, like especially a Hexa which is my favourite song on the album. Um, but then, like, Iron Shackles, the opening track, just pure anthemic stuff. Um, big heavy load vibes on that song. For, um, because, yeah, that's that's maybe what I was trying to say. It's kind of almost got that kind of old Swedish heavy metal feel. Um, almost a bit doomy in moments. But yeah, really cool album. Definitely going to be one of my favourites this year. Next, we have Mirror. I think this is their second full length. That was uh, Lucifer's debut. I don't know if I said that. Um, they had a seven inch before on a Cruise del Sur. Now this is just really cool. Again, um, a bit more like uh, a bit more like Zatir. They have that kind of more angel witchy, Satan, uh, cloven hoofy kind of new wave of British heavy metal kind of sound. But then with these more power metal y bits. Um, Unlike that, it's not really blackened or extreme in any way. It's more just traditional heavy metal. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of uh, Demon Candle was a really cool song. And uh, All Streets Are Evil. I think they were like a couple that really uh, stood out. But yeah, the whole album is really cool. I don't normally talk about songs that stand out. So I don't tend to listen to a song. I tend to listen to a full length. Um, just I put it on. I listen to it. So I don't tend to remember song names very well. But yeah, cool artwork too. It's kind of like... It's got that kind of 80s thing of it's almost a bit cheesy but in a really cool way and it doesn't feel stupid or kind of garish it's just cool um yeah i like that yeah i need to do a deeper dig on that previous album because i recall it being good but i don't own it so i probably don't put it into circulation too much but yeah the new album's really good next we have some black metal from denmark which is um health which is uh, really cool i think it's their debut I've, i really should have researched this but um that's on uh, Eisenfeld, uh, production and from Germany. Really cool. Um, if you remember t me talking about bands like uh, Sinning and uh, a couple others, and um, if you like Urfaust or if you like um, Duerfeld, which is one of the guys from Urfaust, it has that kind of sound. It's very like shrill, but not in kinds of a weak production way. Just it really gets into your system. Um, it's got this very cool medieval aesthetic and theme. Um, it's delivered really well. It's It doesn't feel kind of um, far from tradition, but they definitely have their own sound going, which is cool. But yeah, definitely a really good album. Um, some of the better black metal I've heard recently, I think. Next, we have some very scathing death metal from Patristic on Pulverized Records. Their debut release is a three-track EP. Um, it takes sort of the very very almost bestial strain of death metal and kind of gives it a i'm not gonna say modern because it's not exactly polished but um i guess a current kind of sound if you know a uh, necrovolt who they had the same cover artist with it's got that kind of very very intense black and death with a really kind of dark atmosphere really cool um ep and i'm hoping it's a taster of much more to come because this Definitely a very promising first step from Patristic. Um, I can't think of the name of the cover artist, which is going to bug the hell out of me, but I really like their style. It's very recognisable, which is why it's bugging me that I don't remember it. Um, their name, but yeah, Patristic, very, very cool uh, debut EP. I think this could easily slip under some radars because um pulverized are one of those labels they're so consistent in what they do and they're a really good label but you maybe don't see them talked about to the degree of like dark descent and those kinds of uh slightly bigger labels so um definitely give pulverized some attention because they're a really cool label next we have ferdalance i think is how you say that i'm not entirely sure with the hyperborean also on cruise much like um uh, mirror now this is 
if you remember me recently talking about Arab Altor, who mixed almost like touches of extreme metal with that kind of very grand magasy epic heavy metal stuff. They're kind of in that field, though maybe a bit more dark sounding. Um, but it's a really, really epic album, and I mean that in every sense of the word. It's definitely one of those you need to kind of go on a journey with it. Um, not to sound too cliche, you really need to be involved in the album. It's not going to be very good for, like, I don't know if you're doing some work or something, but it's going to be perfect if you're going on a hike or um, a long trip or something. It's really cool, really great atmosphere. Um, I think... With any kind of metal, there should be an atmosphere, um, like be it heavy or death or black, it should be atmospheric by default, which is why it can be kind of funny when things are called like atmospheric black metal, because to me, black metal is atmospheric, so it can imply that it just means it's lacking in the metal side of things, but this does not do that at all. Yeah, really cool album. Definitely, if you liked Arab Altor and that kind of stuff, you'll like this. Um, uh, I guess maybe like a more nowadays atlantean codex kind of thing really cool definitely worth checking out now we have some awesome death metal which i was i the cover art is so intricate that it kind of took me a bit to get used to and the logo made me kind of think is this going to be more brutal death metal um if you might be able to see what i mean it's got that kind of very symmetrical style of logo um kind of quite gory looking the uh, kind of monochrome artwork has that could um could sort of go in a few directions this is on a lava dome but this is beyond mortal dreams and they sound absolutely uh like new york um heavy, uh, death metal from the early 90s like uh, incantation and those kinds of bands really cool super like heavy riffs think like you know funebrar and dismal those kinds of bands just very brutal but not in a kind of brutal death metal way in a much more kind of not quite death doom but quite lumbering and lurking sounding it's really really good uh release very different to what i expected from it um which is you know not throwing shade on those bands or whatever it's just not i i looked at this and thought it was going to be one thing and it was another and what it transpired to be is probably more to my personal tastes um but yeah really evil kind of malicious atmosphere and great riffing on that one um so yeah if you like those kind of new york new jersey kind of bands definitely check that one out and last of all, we have Falls of Rauros, I guess is how you say it, um, on Eichenwald, again, with a key to a vanishing future. Now, the artwork might tip you off, it's very, more like pagan black metal, um, so it's got some quite like folky melodies and they're kind of like Vindia and Ulva kind of fashion. It's definitely um, got that kind of Nordic uh, kind of sound. Um, where, where are these guys from? It does not say. Well, apologies. I think they might be from... Um, the US or something, or uh, Canada maybe, but yeah, if you like Canadian black metal actually, that's probably a good uh, touchstone for this one, um, it's got that kind of atmospheric but still very riffy kind of thing going on, I, it's really cool, again, this is this along with both the other um, more black metal oriented ones were completely new names to me, and really nice surprise, it's always great if I get sent something that I don't know, and it turns out to be really killer, uh, so yeah, definitely check these guys out. And that was the 10th metal band you haven't heard but should for this video. I hope you guys enjoy these bands. Um, had a couple of <laughs> kind of really major stumbles when talking about stuff. Uh, I, I had an idea in my head and then when I hit record it all goes out the window. But yeah, go check them out for yourself anyway. Make your own opinions. I'm not here to tell you what to think. Just to suggest some cool bands to listen to. And uh, yeah, the takeaway from that is Lucifer made probably the most epic heavy metal album of the year so far that I can think of. So yeah, support everyone. And until next time, stay metal.